Hey guys, it's Nick here, and I have one last video uh, regarding the Coney 2012 thing. In case you guys haven't noticed, um, Jason Russell recently, well, not really recently, it's now April, uh, on March 17th, Jason was arrested for masturbating in public and um, shouting obscure things out on the streets and running around in the streets naked. And it turns out, or at least so I've heard, that he wasn't really put in jail, but he was actually put into a hospital. Now, the co-founder, or one of the co-founders of uh, Invisible Children, I think his name is Ben Casey, tried saying that Jason Russell was um, exhausted from, you know, and he was dehydrated, and he had, you know, was malnutritious. Well, I don't know about that. Like I said, I don't know about the malnutrition thing, but I'm sure I'd be dehydrated and exhausted after what I did, too. Um, anyways, anyways, not to be disgusting. So, after he gets released from, a, you know, the hospital or wherever he's at, I know what he's going to try doing. He's going to try getting all everybody back, try scamming them out of more money. Seriously, people, if you still co um, contribute to this guy, and after seeing what the, all the sick things that he did, I, I just pity you guys. Now, you guys might say, well, you know, you know, he probably didn't mean it, whatever. Okay, I'll give you that. Maybe he didn't mean to do it. I heard that the reason why he did what he did was because of stress, you know, from criticizing or, you know, critiques or whatever you want to call it of 2020-12. Um, seriously, I, I would never do that. You could give me a million dollars and I would never run out in the streets naked, jumping on people's cars, screaming stuff about the devil. Seriously, what what... What was he doing on there? They say he wasn't doing any drugs or anything, but seriously, he had to be on something. He had to be smoking some kind of drug because it's not like you just smoke something, you know, it's not like you do that out of the blue. Um, I, I, like, and, you know, under normal circumstance, I would, you know, think, okay, well, maybe he's got some kind of mental condition or whatever, but, like, I haven't heard about any stuff he's done before like that, so why just this time? I mean, I, I have a strong feeling he did some kind of drug, but, uh, you know, maybe I'm wrong. So, anyways, so after he gets released from whatever, I know he's going to try getting people back. And the thing is, don't listen to him. Have we not learned, you know, I, and I, I know not everybody's a Christian, but I'm going to recite from, from the Bible. They say, like, you know, about Harold Kim, they said, you know, watch out for false prophets. They will come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. Well, in a way, um, Jason Russell is kind of like that. He's trying to tell you guys, if you guys, if we can stop Joseph Coney, then Africa is going to be, you know, it's going to be paradise again. There won't be any more war. There won't be any more, you know, sins. You know, it's going to be the perfect place that God had in his mind all along. You know, and that's not going to happen. There are hundreds of thousands of African warlords in, in Africa, you know, and each one's worse than the next. So do you really think by stopping Joseph Coney, it's all of a sudden just going to come to an end. That'd be like saying, hey, you know, if Ron Paul gets elected, everything's going to be fine. Now, that's who personally who I'm, you know, for. But, you know, I mean, like, you know, it, you know, just because we get a new president, or it doesn't mean, you know, the world's going to be 100% at peace again. It's not like, you know, for the rest of eternity, the world's going to be good. No. Now, I, I do have plans on making a video about, you know, what I think of the government and shit, but... That's for something else. I just wanted to make this video to lay this Joseph Coney 2012 thing to rest. I really can't stand talking about it anymore. You might be like, well, then why are you making a video about it? Because I want to warn people not to fucking give this guy a second chance. Don't go, oh, I'm sorry, you know, here, take take my money. You know Coney 2012 is a scam. And that's the main reason why I tell you guys not to listen to this guy. I'm not saying, you know, because of what he did, just don't believe him at all, whatever. No, I'm saying don't believe him because it's been proven, just like global warming, that um, that just that this whole Coney 2012 thing is a scam. It is a scam. It's been proven. Same way that um, global warming is not real. Seriously, people, they, they were trying, last week they were trying to fucking teach us how global warming is real and how all this crap's, you know, gonna happen, you know, the you know, the ice cap's gonna be completely disappeared within 50 years, whatever. Boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. 
Yeah, you know what? Did you know it just snowed all over the place when, you know, Obama went to these, all these different countries to talk about, um, I think he went to just Sweden, I don't remember, but I heard something about Obama going somewhere, like, to some foreign country to talk about, you know, global warming, and it was snowing, like, just about everywhere in the United States. And besides, the military has HAARP. They're the main ones behind global warming, not the fucking greenhouse gases and shit. Now, for those of you who don't know what HAARP is or HARP is, I will tell you. And yeah, after I tell you, you're going to be like, oh, you're fucking crazy. There's no way that's real. But no, you look it up yourself. You look it up yourself. There is proof that it exists. Okay, so HAARP is literally a program the military can use, the U.S. military no less, and I think Russia's got something like it too, that can actually literally control the weather. They can make it sunny in the winter. They can make it snowy in the summer or whatever. They can act, they can, they can alter the weather, okay? So you can't say that it's because of global warming. It's not. It's because of this fucking HARP shit, okay? It's just the same way as fucking Al Gore saying he invented the internet. No, he didn't. Wow. Al Gore is, is a fucking liar, you know? But, you know, what What are you going to do, you know? Seriously, I mean, oh, God. Seriously, people, global warming is not real, and Coney 2012 isn't real. And that's my main focus, Coney 2012. I know, I got up topic, but I, I am going to talk about global warming later. Seriously, people, I just, oh my God. If you still contribute to fucking Jason Russell and his fucking Invisible Children Foundation, you guys, no offense, I don't mean to judge you, because due to my, you know, religion, you know, it's not... And, you know, it's not right to judge, but seriously, if you guys contribute to this guy after seeing, you know, undeniable proof that Coney 2012 is a scam, you guys are idiots. Seriously, it's been proven Coney 2012 is a scam. It is not real. It's not even one bit real. Yes, you know, that footage was taken back in 2003, like over five years ever since it happened. Oh my god. And seriously... I've heard many Ugandan people say their um, their place has been at peace for a long time now, ever since you know Coney's been away. You know, yes, I know Coney did. Joseph Coney did kill a lot of the innocent kids. Stuff. You know why he did that? He was fighting for freedom. He was really desperate. So he's, or at least according to him, this is what he said. He said he was, you know, he's fighting for freedom in Africa. Did you know it's not just him that killed people? The Ugandan government does it too, or the African government for that matter. They actually kill innocent kids. Why aren't we focusing on them right now? Why don't... Let's just focus on, you know, this one guy who hasn't committed a crime for, what, how many years? Seriously, people, what the hell? Wake up. Come on, guys. Wake up and smell the coffee. You know this guy's a fake. You know this whole organization is fake. Invisible children is not real. It's not one bit real. It... Jeez, people, seriously. Think about it. If you don't believe me, look up proof. Look up proof that Coney 20 Hill was a scam. There's actually this girl on YouTube named Rainbow Rants. She made a fucking perfect video on how it's a scam. She, it was like fucking textbook perfect. I, I can't believe it. It was actually a really good documentary. She did it all in Windows Movie Maker, which proves you don't need fucking high tech software in order to do shit. Seriously, watch her video. You could look it up yourself, seriously. It's just Rainbow Rants, you know, Rainbow, then Rants, um, and Coney 2012. She does two actual videos of it getting exposed. And it's just ridiculous. And I know, you guys might have been brainwashed by the video. Like, you know, when you saw Jason Russell's son, you know, and he's, you know, showing him the pictures and his son's making faces and he's acting all cute. That's what they want. They, they do that in order to get you to believe that Coney 2012 is real. They want your money. And you know what? For all I know, maybe Jason Russell isn't even trying to do this. It's the government that's making him. I've heard that this whole Coney 12 thing was actually started by the government in order to get more people to lose their money. I'm actually not joking. That's stuff I've actually heard. I, now, I can't say it's 100% true, but I would not be surprised by how corrupt our government is today. So anyways, Thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully we can just, together we can just get rid of this Coney 2012 bullshit once and for all. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Peace out.